Let's take a look at problem number 20 uh, in fluids, G and Coley chapter 10. The problem is a cool one. It says, in working out his principle, Pascal showed dramatically how force can be multiplied with fluid pressure. He placed a long, thin tube of radius 0.3 centimeters vertically into a wine barrel of radius 21 centimeters. The sketch is uh, shown here. Uh, he found that when the barrel was filled with water and the tube filled to a height of 12 meters, the barrel burst. Calculate A, the mass of the water, and B, the net force exerted by the water. This question is designed uh, to get you to recognize that, uh, that in part A, the uh, relative mass of the water in this 12 meter uh, high tube is fairly small. However, it's not the mass of the water, it's the pressure that it produces in the, in the entire fluid at this uh, at this uh, this very large surface area here is actually what does this kind of amplification and will give us a large force that we'll find out in part B. So for the first one, we're simply going to use density is equal to uh, mass over volume. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, answer part A. So we've got density is equal to mass over volume, and therefore the mass of the fluid can be found by rearranging that equation. We get mass is equal to density times the volume, where the volume uh, of the container, oh, uh, more specifically, this is the uh, long, thin reed here uh, that has the radius of 0.3 centimeters, can be found uh, via pi r squared h. Uh, this is the volume of a cylinder. So uh, go ahead. I'll go ahead and substitute here. My density is going to be uh, 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter uh, times my constant pi times the radius of 0.3 centimeters. Uh, which is 0.3 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in that form because I've got meters here. I want to be consistent. And of course, the height is uh, 12 meters. When I run that through my calculator, I get something on the order of 0 0.3393 kilograms uh, or about 0.34 kilograms once I deal with sig figs if I'm doing that. And uh, you can see here, this is about a third of a kilogram, uh, which is coming up on a pound, roughly, of water. Not exactly, not quite a pound, which isn't a lot. So uh, a third of a kilogram isn't, a, isn't this you know, huge mass of water. However, the pressure that it produces, which we'll now kind of answer in Part B, we can say that we're interested in the pressure due to the weight of that water here um, at the bottom of the tube, which is evenly then uh, distributed over this large area. So I can say that uh, pressure is equal to force over area, and therefore the force it, uh, on the uh, bottom side of this kind of upper uh, surface that I've shaded here in black is equal to uh, pressure times area, where the pressure P is due to the hydrostatic pressure from the column of water. Let me go ahead and then t uh, write that in. Uh, rho g h um, is the pressure uh, due to the height of the column uh, times the area, uh, the surface area uh, on the underside of the top of the barrel. Uh, I'll go ahead and expand that a bit further. I'm going to get the density uh, times g uh, times the height uh, times pi r squared, the area of that circle. And um, I'll go ahead and substitute now. So I can say that the force on the underside of the barrel is going to be rho, which is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter for water, times the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. And I'm going to multiply that by my height of 12 meters. And then I need to multiply that by my area, uh, which is going to be pi times the radius, which is 21 centimeters or 0.21 meters, and I need to be uh, careful to uh, square that. And by the way, I forgot to uh, indicate that here. It looks like I left that out. That's uh, squared up here in part A. Okay, so now that I've done that, I've got this expression, um, and when I run that through my calculator, I get something uh, really significant, about uh, 16,000 uh, newtons. So you can see now that this relatively, um, you know, uh, small weight, uh, or I should say mass of water here, 34 
uh, 0.34 kilograms, once you uh, spread that pressure over this large area here at the top of the, top of the barrel, you get something uh, really substantial. Uh, I'd love to see that demonstration. W what a neat idea.